Today we're working on a left knee. Now we're going to review the surface anatomy. We have marked the kneecap, the tibia tubercle, in dotted lines, the patella tendon, the medial and lateral tibial joint line. And typically, the lateral joint line is a little higher than the medial, the head of the fibula, and finally, are three arthroscopic portals. Anterior lateral, anterior medial, and superior medial. Advanced arthroscopists may only use two portals. I will not use the superior medial portal today, but it is excellent for allowing fluid outflow. The anterior lateral portal is placed one centimeter above the joint line and just next to the patellar tendon. You can also feel a soft spot. The anterior medial portal is placed one centimeter above the joint line and one centimeter medial to the patellar tendon. You can also feel a soft spot. Typically, we inject our portals with local anesthesia and then use a 15 or an 11 bladed knife with the blade facing away from the patella tendon to make a four or five millimeter portal, cutting the skin, then the capsule, but taking care not to damage the ligaments or cartilage and taking care to stay above the meniscus. We then take the cannula with the blunt obdurator. I hold it like this so that my finger will prevent me from plunging. I angle to parallel the tibial plateau between the condyles in the, and you push into the intercondylar notch. You may want to go in and out a few times to make sure it's loose. Then you pull back just enough that you're outside of the condyles. You straighten the knee and slip under the patella. After slipping under the patella and with the knee in full extension, we remove the obdurator and put the arthroscopic camera in the cannula. We turn on our water and wait as the knee fills with fluid. I'm going to now prepare the anterior medial portal. In order to get the exact portal placement, we're going to use visualization with a camera and a spinal needle. Again, I'll hold it toward the tip so I don't plunge. And then trying not to damage the cartilage, you, I will come in with the needle just above the meniscus. Any lower would cut it. But then I have to be sure I can get to the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. Because as you can imagine, if we come in too high or too vertical an angle, the femur will prevent us from getting all the way to the back. This seems like a perfect portal location. So we'll pull the needle out, take our knife, and again, first cut the skin, approximately five millimeters, and then deeper, holding my hand against the skin for control, I'll cut the capsule. And you see when you cut the joint capsule, you know you're there because the fluid starts coming out. This is our working or instrumentation portal. I like to take a hemostat, and again, I'll hold it like this so I don't plunge, put it into the portal, and spread a few times. Watch your eyes, this can squirt to have a nice loose portal so that you can come in and out with ease as you're doing work in different areas of the knee.